Hi guys, this is Just with your uh, eclipse, <laughs> solar return in Gemini for June 10th. Now I know a lot of, shout out to the Geminis, you guys were really um, open and letting me know when your birthday was and we do know that the eclipse is happening June 10th, yay! I'm doing it on the side of June 9th, so there is that, so it's tomorrow. And this is a new moon. So that means that new things are going to be coming and being introduced in our life. Now with the Neptune, which is a very nebulous sign. And again, I am an astrology um, novice. So you would need to reach out to your astrologer of choice to get the real details. But this is a time where there is going to be some good energy coming your way, but you have to kind of put the work in. It's going to take some time for it to really materialize in a healthy, strong sort of way. And know that until we get on the outside of Gemini season, where there's the Mercury retrograde and there's some nebulous energy with Neptune, you're not going to see the full results or clear, clear, clear understanding until we get more into cancer season and leo season which is later on in july and august so do keep that in mind but still i wanted to see what can we expect a little bit from this new moon in gemini so let's get started now thank you in advance for those of you who are going to put the time stamps down below and also uh this can affect more deeply those of you gemini's who are born june 8th to the 12th but everyone will be affected in some regard here. So let's see what's coming up. Okay, so now let's get started with Aries. Guys, I'm not putting the cards out because I'm busy and I don't have time to edit. So you understand, right? You understand. <laughs> Aries. Okay, so Aries, this is a serious one. You have love. There's some issues going on here when it comes to matter of heart. Okay, those of you who are in a relationship, you are going to have to deal with the elephant in the room. There's something that you may have been holding off from dealing with, too scared to really see the truth of it all, but it's coming. It's coming. You're going to have to kind of see things for what it is. Now, for those of you who are single, Aries, if you're hiding things from someone, it's going to come out, okay? This person is going to find out some things whether you like it or not, okay? Some of you, you're going to find out something from someone. Whatever this thing that you're finding out about, you may be too scared to know how to help someone or handle something with someone. Someone could be going through something pretty deep and you just really may feel a little too scared. Just again, I don't know what to do with this. I don't know how to help you. So you may find yourself pulling away from people or someone in particular because again, you don't really know what to do. Be careful because if you are stepping outside of any relationships, it's going to get found out. You're going to get caught and it's going to be very difficult to get back the trust, to get back the love that you used to have. So this is a time to be careful. If you're hiding anything and anything someone is hiding from you, keeping from you, you are going to find out the problem is they may need you and it may be very difficult for you to... Um, answer the call at this time so you may take a step back the, and they may interpret you in the wrong way don't worry because it's all going to work itself out and this person they're in your life for a reason to kind of show you how to work on that part of your heart chakra hope this makes sense again mercury retrograde there's that <laughs> others of you yeah you have love coming serious love coming yeah it was all good and fine and you was probably just getting to know someone and it was all great and cool but now you're starting to realize this person wants more from me than i probably am able to give you or you're kind of scared because you know that um you're about to be taken off the market i say don't worry i say let go with the flow and time it will all fall into place so that's what i have for aries now let's look at taurus Taurus, well, it looks like to me that you guys are going to be changing quite a bit. I feel like you are switching things up for this um, solar eclipse. You're going to be switching things up. You're not going to allow anything that has 
kept you stuck, kept you down, depressed, or in a funk to get the best of you. You're letting that go and you are going to move into this new realm, this new reality of who you are. Stagnation is not an option for you anymore and you accept it. It's not that you're fighting against it and you're staying stuck and stubborn in it. No, Tauruses are about to literally eliminate stagnation, negativity, depression, sadness, and liberate yourself into a place of freedom, self-confidence, and a new sense of self-worth and value. You may turn around and do something so different, people will look at you and say, who are you? Well, hello, my name is... <laughs> You may have to re reintroduce yourself to people now because I do see you being a completely different person. People may think, oh, Taurus is down. You might be down, but you're not staying down. You're getting up and you're going to make a powerful, powerful new change. Do expect people to challenge you. Men may be plenty full, whether you know them or not. There may still be some unresolved issues with a particular person, but they... <laughs> have and and this is also for you Taurus men too they have no idea what changes you are prepared to make for them or more so yourself than for them you're making a lot of changes they may not see it coming and before they know it they don't even know how to handle the situation when it comes to who you are where you're going and you may be going with them probably going without them, but I just see a completely new Taurus that everyone is going to have to become accustomed to. So that's what I have for Taurus. Now let's look at Gemini. Well, Gemini, <laughs> it's all about you guys, isn't it? Um, have you been feeling pretty special this year with North Node in your sign and now the eclipse is all about Gemini's? Well, I have to tell you, um, this you're about to make a major change and it is in terms of love matters of the heart you've been working yourself to the ground and it looks like it's been some really great traction you've been making but now love calls and there's something that you're going to need to get off your chest you can't wait anymore there's something that you're going to need to say someone that you have to reach out to and again there may be a lot of distance between you and another person but no more if it's not you, do expect someone to rush back into you. They've got to. Got to do it. Got to do it. Somebody can't wait anymore. They've got to get it off their chest. Something that has been lying dormant, has never been dealt with, hasn't really been addressed. Oh, it's happening with this eclipse. And it kind of gives perspective of where you go forward with this situation, with the person, everything is going to get addressed. Now, it's not all gonna happen in a day. Even when things come out, someone says something, or you do, it's not all going to remedy itself in one day, one night, one month, one week. But it, it starts the process of getting back on track. Whatever this is, and I know I'm speaking very vague because it's pretty much a very vague energy here where you go from focusing so much on the work at hand, doing what you need to do to, okay, now, I'm focusing on repairing something, fixing something, or someone came out of the blue, came back or came into my life to kind of wake me back up when it comes to matters of heart. This doesn't have to just be intimate love. It could also be family, friends, anyone who is significant enough to show up in this reading. But I do see that there is now some type of communication that sparks a whole new way of life. That's what I have for Gemini's now on to Cancer. Cancer. Well, this is going to be a very eye-opening, transformative eclipse. You are being tested. Now, here's the thing. Some of you have been overworking yourself with unnecessary things. It could be work. It could be stress. It could be drama with other people. But I feel that this is a very good time for you to rise above it all. You have more power in situations with other people than you give yourself credit. Now, some of you know you do. But have you been using that power for good? So this is a time to evaluate how you use your power and to effectively use it in a way that brings situations in a positive change. If you do that, you eliminate any issues in drama. You get the upper hand and things start to fall into place and you eliminate all of the heavy lifting and the baggage that you've been dragging around. So this is a great opportunity to kind of reset minds, hearts of those and who you deal with so that it works in your 
favor. I also see that there could be someone who's kind of like you. Some of you may be anticipating someone who has been very combative, argumentative, difficult, um, playing mind games with you. That's about to change. The person is going to show up that same way, but how you handle it is going to change the trajectory of how things move forward. So again, Cancers, remember, some of you are going to have a Pisces coming in, but that's a that's a separate story for another day. But just remember, Cancers, that you hold the power. How you handle a situation will determine the outcome. So that's what I have for you, Cancers. Now, let's look at Virgo. Leo. Guys, I know I did say Virgo. I apologize, but I meant to say Leo. So please put that down in a, in a timestamp below. Um, Leo. Okay, so now this is a very important message, okay? Um, there's been a road that you've been going down, a path that kind of have gotten you stuck. And it's mental, but it's not just mental. It's showing up in your everyday life where you feel stuck. Now, the good thing is that you do understand that this situation is temporary. You're working your way out of it. It's going to take time. But even through that time, it makes it no easier for the heaviness and the pressure that comes with it. You're under a lot of stress and you are under a lot of... Um, like I said, heaviness, okay? And the people around you or in the environment that you're in doesn't make it any easier. It makes it even more chaotic, more disruptive, more problematic. Some of you may feel like you're in this all by yourself, that you really can't rely on anyone. And the person that you possibly feel like you can, they're not, you're, they're, they don't work as quickly as you may feel like you need aid and assistance and help. And again, there may be some frustrations around it taking longer than you would like things to move along. But guess what? Well, you already know, right, Leos? It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. This is part of your growth. This is part of your process. And I I personally feel, and I've been saying this for a while when I used to do Leo readings, Leos have a huge heart. You guys have a big heart. And you mean well. And you want everyone to be happy. But the problem is because you're so strong and you're able to, to you know, take on a lot take on a lot of issues and you will fall on the sword for a lot of people and circumstances that when the time it comes for you to say, okay, I need for someone to fall on the sword. I need some for someone to catch me. There's usually not pe enough people around or anyone around. And so right now, some of you may be feeling like, where are the people when I need them? You do have someone, but again, it's a slow and steady process because this is for you. This is you. You have to learn this lesson or go through. This is a trial is what it looks like it is. So you have to go through this trial. And again, it feels like it's alone. You feel lonely. You feel like it's all on you. But when you come out of it, boy, do you come out powerful, powerful, confident, because you've come out on your own and you start to realize who everyone is around you. Mm -hmm. So, yes, a heavy lesson to learn, but so worth it and extremely necessary. So that's what I have for you, Leos. Now, let's go on to Virgo. Virgo. Now, this is a square to you, okay? Um, so for some of you, things are gonna change out of the blue. You don't see it coming. And I'm gonna say it, because I see it, I'm gonna say it. Please be careful with your heart and people around you. You can lose someone at this time, unfortunately. And my condolences for any of you who have recently lost someone. Let me know if you have um, and do understand that this energy kind of goes out six months. So it could be that. Now, some people may say, you know, how could you give that type of a reading? It's true. It's what I see. And as we know, we live to die, right? So there's that. Now, if it's not something that dire, and I, I pray it isn't, there is massive change that will be difficult to deal with, but also cathartic. And it also will be a true understanding of what you need versus what you don't. Some of you may be so scared um, of entering into a new realm in a, with a person or a situation or circumstance that you literally will run away from the blessing and running toward the problem or exactly what you don't want, the disappointment, the heartbreak, the pain. So there's a sense of needing to evaluate 
why you're running away from something and what you should be running toward, right? What are you fearful of? What are you scared of? The past literally is ending and it may be sorrowful. It may be heartbreaking to come to terms that the past is ending and it may not just be for you. It may be someone else's, it may be someone else trying to hold you and keep you and they have to come to an understanding that it's done. It's over. It literally is dead. So it's something about a death, a clear ending. Um, I never say never, so anything is possible, but this looks very final. And But someone is having a hard time accepting that reality, that something is completely over. And until they do, they will remain stuck. And for some of you, it's going to be you. Others of you is going to be someone else that's cleaving to you. But again, this is going to be a very sobering, life-changing reality for Virgos. So that's what I have for Virgos. Now let's look at Libras. Okay, Libra. So this is kind of like that Taurus reading that I just did. You're putting you first, but we've been seeing this lately, right? Anyone or anything that have kept you stagnant, despondent, you may feel bored of things. This solar eclipse is going to introduce something new, a passion, a drive, an energy that you probably haven't seen in a long time, if ever. You're putting you first. You're getting excited about new things. Oh, and it's coming. If you're unemployed, congratulations. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you now, you're getting a job. <laughs> and this is something that you're going to learn and develop over time. This could be something where it's like, I've always wanted to do that, but I never knew you could make money from it, but you can. This is a new and exciting time. And a lot of people will gain a new sense of confidence by the time we get into Leo season. I just feel like Leo season is going to be one of the most liberating times as a collective because it keeps kind of showing that way and you are not the exception you will find yourself in a better place where it's more about you than other people you will be unafraid to tackle and move in directions where you may have to just rely on you but it's exciting it's different and it's actually kind of fun right and so you could be doing this to people too, like running after the past, but you will quickly realize that, you know, you know, it's not the best place for me to be. I need to be moving forward and knowing and finding out about me through new situations, not necessarily new people, but new experiences. Remember, I told you that it's new experiences that is going to help develop you and shape you into the person that you've been yearning to be. So, Wow. What a nice new venture that you're about to embark on, Libra. Let me know how it works down in the comment section below. <laughs> so that's when I have for Libra. Now let's look at Scorpio. Well, Scorpio, looks like you're going to have to figure out what you're going to do with a love situation. Okay. And it doesn't have to be intimate love, guys. It could be any love situation. There's a lot of secrets that you're holding. You're scared, you're fearful, you're unsure. You really don't know what you should do. And right now with Mercury retrograde, squaring Neptune with the liars and the thieves and all of the smoke and the mirrors, it's probably best that you don't do anything. But you do what you want to do. Now, you may want time. Time to yourself. I need to figure this out. My intuition has me scared and fearful and I really don't know what to do. Well, it doesn't look like somebody is giving you any time. <laughs> They don't want you to have any time. They don't want you to think clearly. They want you to, they want to convince you that, listen, we need to fix this, whatever this is. I do feel like also there is some messages that are coming out. That, okay. You guys are going to have to face something that you really don't want to have to face. I think I said that to, to Aries, right? You guys may have to face something that you really don't want to face. And this is another elephant in the room. You finally have to deal with it. You don't want to have to deal with it. This can have something to do with finances, career, can have something to do with your business or a business partnership. Others of you have something to do with, as I said, a one-to-one -one love relationship with someone else. And you are trying to take a minute to evaluate, but someone isn't really giving you that time. I also see letters in the mail, emails, that sort of thing. Some form of communication coming in that you've got to address. You've been probably scared 
about this and it's like when it comes in you have to deal with it even though you don't want to deal with this that's all i keep saying but it's gonna be okay scorpio it's gonna be okay you are scaring the hell out of yourself for no reason if you want to get back with someone you can get back with them if you're having a problem that they're cheating they're gonna continue to cheat <laughs> I have to be honest, they will probably. Other outside people will probably to some extent continue to be a problem. If you're worried about something legal or something money-wise, you're going to be fine. You're actually going to have a reason to celebrate. So don't be so scared. Don't be so fearful. If it needs to just all be dealt with, you'll look back and be so thankful that it's finally over. You don't have to look over your shoulder. You don't have to wake up in a cold sweat. <laughs> It's going to be okay. So that's what I have for you, Scorpios. Now, let's look at Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Okay, so now this situation is kind of deep. And let me know if this makes any sense to you guys or not. For some of you, you're going to have to be on the sidelines. There could be something that, again, because it looks like a lot of people are dealing with unresolved situations from the past. And so then this may be some unresolved things from the past that you kind of have to deal with or you may be a witness to. And however you would handle it in the past, it's giving you an opportunity to deal with it differently this time. Some of you could witness people going through changes, but you've got to stay on the sidelines and it's not going to be easy. <laughs> Some of you are going to feel like you're going through life all on your own. You may see, you you may look and, and look at other people's situation and perceive it to be so much better than yours, right? But your journey is yours to take. And at times, honestly, it may have feel, felt like it's a daunting task and you may even feel very confused and almost like you want to give up. But just when you start to feel like you want to give up or there is never going to be Anything better that could come out of your life is just when things start to change for the better. And I mean big time. So as I'm telling a lot of people, Leo season is definitely a breakout time. It almost may feel like the new year. Like this is when the new, new year is actually happening in Leo season. Men, you may have some problems with women. Women, you may be having problems with men or even another woman. I also see needing to make a decision about a situation between you and another person and again trying to get to the conclusion of where you're supposed to be with this person very difficult at times and almost will seem impossible but then the possible happens just when it starts to seem impossible is when the possible will happen remember i told you that and if there's anyone who you may have felt have kept you down OK, anyone that you feel like has kept you down. OK. Things are going to change. The table is going to turn. I don't know why I keep feeling like if you have felt like you were on the sidelines looking into somebody's relationship or uh, somebody else's life and their life felt so fine and their life seemed like, oh, you know, you made it out to be like everything was perfect with them or you're going to realize and it's just literally, it's not that you're looking or pr it's going to come to you, but you're going to come to a conclusion that now you're in a happy place. You're in a better place. And this situation may not be what's definitely not going to be what you thought it was. There's going to be a lot of cracks in that particular foundation. Just as your life is starting to go up, things in, in other, in the, <laughs> you know, it's Mercury retrograde, things around you other people and situations there they may be going through their trial so i kind of see like a reversal effect here a table's turning if that makes any sense i think you just need to stand the course and even if you see that happening like now i'm up be humble be humble be thankful and just keep going with your life because you are going to have an opportunity to finally get past some type of drama that had to do with one or two other people and these may be two people together or two people separately in your life, but you're going to rise above it and you're going to become very successful and victorious in it. And you're going to gain your happily 
ever after. Is there such a thing as a happily ever after? I don't think so. <laughs> Not on this earth. <laughs> but you know what I mean. You'll be happy for a time. So that's what I have for Sagittarius. Now let's look at Capricorn. Capricorn. I see some of you really getting to a happy place because of this solar return. Some of you are meeting your person. You may already have that person. Some of you may just have a lot of options and it could be very chaotic if you're seeing people, if you're putting yourself out there, but you're going to find your one. It's almost like a love, at, not necessarily love at first sight, but you will realize just how potent this connection is with this person. And you may even be shocked and believe and dare I say, will you believe? <laughs> dare I say you believe that this may be the one or this this relationship will be will be different. This connection with this person will be different. You will get to a sort of euphoric happiness with someone that you feel immensely comfortable with. There's a lot of excitement here, but there is a connection and it's, it's like almost undying connection. They may have a child, you have a child, or this may be the person that you marry and become one and have children together but out of chaos out of a lot of confusion and a lot going on around you you will get to a place of happiness there is something that is very chaotic and problematic for some of you who i mean that <laughs> will turn around for the better and it brings you closer to someone or other people so it will be a good thing now every day is not going to be christmas and night new year's eve but this eclipse will spark a togetherness and a happiness that you may feel you want it to last for the rest of your life but it is there to remind you that you can have happiness and however you got here like whatever part you've played to get to this place of happiness continue that continue it because it will it can stay around it can remain right that's what it looks like Right. It it definitely will be there. But just be careful that you, again, remain in that pureness of the love and don't feel like you have to stay on top of it and control it and control the situation. Just live in that love. Because at some point, you guys are going to be introduced to just pure love and connectivity with another so don't 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 start to interpret it negatively or get fearful or feel like you have to control it just live in it and if you do and try to learn to let go and live in that moment because that vibration will live on so i love this for capricorns you guys deserve it i'm reading rooting for you guys of course now that's capricorn let's look at aquarius Okay, Aquarius. Guys, I do apologize if you hear anything in the background, but you probably don't. Uh, you're trying to deal with and resolve past hurts and pains, okay? Um, some of you are wanting to fix a situation faster than it's possible, or someone is trying to pressure you to, you know, um, hurry up and fix a situation faster faster than it's possible so i do see restlessness coming out of this gemini um solar eclipse and it's all about past situations things that you need to take care of and what you need to learn or you will learn is whatever this thing is that has created some heartache some pain some disappointment or even distance it will repair itself it will get better even if it has something to do with your finances but this is what you have to do give it time only time can fix this only time so if you guys try to rush it too fast you will find yourself in a place where you overwork yourself only to not get the results you're looking for take your time and in time it all works itself out absolutely yeah you have someone here that you know you want to be with the problem is you may have another person who wants to be with you or you're Listen, Aquarius, come on now. <laughs> Some of you Aquariuses now, you, you, you have to figure out who you want <laughs> and what you're doing, <laughs> okay? Uh, because there is someone who is really meant to be with you. So don't allow any past situations to, you know, discourage you or to get in between who's really meant for you is what it looks like or what's really meant for you, okay? Some of you might have to let go of someone even if it has disappointed them someone it's okay to let people go and to move on with your life even if it's not the best thing for them or they're feeling some kind of way about it like i said time always heals things usually 
Um, and all you can do is keep moving forward. So do that. Move forward. You're going to have to leave some things behind. And I also see for some of you going back to the past. It's almost like make amends so that you can finally move forward. And even if your mate don't understand that, they'll be okay. Because <laughs> I do get someone watching you, someone not happy that you're kind of going back somewhere or leaving them, that sort of thing, being more selfish. But you may just have to do what you have to do. And in time, they'll understand too. Remember I said, it's all about timing. So that's why I have Aquarius. Now let's look at Pisces. Well, Pisces, it looks like this solar eclipse is going to bring out some truth, understanding, and you or someone is making things harder than what it needs to be. Mm -hmm. Someone is so closed off, shut down, will not open up that it makes it very hard for them to get help, to get aid, or to remedy a situation. This is that type of thing where some people may say, I don't like being angry or holding on to grudges because it takes too much energy. It may take a lot of energy for this person to still hold back, to, to be closed off. There needs to be communication, but there is a lot of discord or kind of friction going on here with you and another person. Some of you are going to have to come to a conclusion that you need to make a decision. Um, others of you, I do feel like you may be heading toward a finale uh, with you and another person. And it's high time this gets addressed so that the two of you can move forward, either independently or together. Some of you may feel like you're being forced to do something that you really don't want to do. Um, maybe you have someone in your life and they're kind of forcing you to do something in order for you to move forward with your life with them. And it and it feels a little dramatic, but the cards don't look dramatic. It just feels dramatic. And it may be a daunting task because, again, it may not be something that you're ready to do or even really want to do, but you may feel like you kind of have to do the situation. Not to have to do the situation. <laughs> but, again, it is necessary to conclude whatever this is. Now, I know I'm speaking in riddles. It's a Pisces reading. What do you want me to say? And... We have that Neptune square, so it may sound a bit convoluted, but as time goes on, you'll understand what I'm saying if you listen back to this later on. It's something that needs to happen in order for the cycle to wrap up. It's just you're very confused and extremely unsure if you may, if you, if the tactic or the decision that you're making, the way you're going to handle it is going to be effective or it's going to be right. You are very confused or very concerned about that. And I do feel like, just like Aquarius, give it some time and things will work itself out. You also have some new powerful love coming your way. So that's like a sidebar for those of you who overwork yourself and who's cut love out. Yeah, it's coming anyway. So that's what I have for you guys. <laughs> I hope that this has been helpful. Again, guys, listen, it is a Mercury retrograde squaring Neptune. So if any of these readings are sounding weird, like what's going on? I'm not really sure. That's it. That's what it is. <laughs> but I was still curious about the solely return. Let me know how you feel about the readings in down the description box below if you can relate. Otherwise, I will see you guys on the next one. Take care, guys.